Hello, and welcome to the West Elementary Paint Guide. So this video is for the snowman. You should have something like this pre-traced on your canvas. Today we'll be using a half inch square brush. So when we paint with a half inch brush, we're gonna paint flip, flip like this to make nice even strokes. One of the things we're doing is we are going to be painting our colors inside of each other. So it is important to paint pretty quickly. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paint both of our snowballs. Now this could be considered a three ball snowman, but we only have two showing. So there could be a third one down here, but we didn't draw that to make it a little easier. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna just take pure white and you're gonna fill in your snowman's body. We're gonna do just the whole body. And so you want a lot of paint. And if you go a little bit into the scarf area, that is okay. And so as you paint, you're gonna just fill it in. Now there's two pieces of scarf here, one, two. So I'm gonna fill in a little lower. Just see that bottom section a little bit better. So as I'm painting, notice I'm flipping my brush and you might pick up some pencil lead. That will change your color just a little bit, but that's okay. Art is all about perspective. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm not cleaning my brush. I'm just gonna take a very small corner of blue on my white brush. I'll put the blue on the outside of my stemma and then I'm going to paint that left, right, and then what that's going to do is it's going to get pulled into the white. So basically it's going to make the snowman have a shadow on his ball. Now I'm going to do that exact same thing for the left side of my snowball. This is going to use a lot less blue because I'm not painting it all out. So it's just a very small smidge. And again, I'm going to paint that all the way down around the scarf. If something happens and you don't like it, the easiest way to fix it, let it dry and paint over it. It's paint, it's easy to do. So if you don't like what you're doing, just wait for it to dry and paint over it. That's the easiest way. Now, it does take a long time to recover from some colors. Notice we started with white. You always start with bright colors and then go to dark. So I'm gonna do snowman's head now. This is his carrot on his head. And I'm gonna use the blue in the same spot. So the blue's gonna be on the top side of his head. Again, it's a smaller ball. So I only need one little tip of blue. And again, I'll put the blue on the outside edge on both sides, and then I'll just kind of paint that in. Nice and even, and so it's circular strokes. Now when you're done, you'll put your brush in the water and you swirl it. It'll clean up real quickly. And our goal with the water is to dissolve the paint and then get rid of the excess water. So we're going to wipe it on the top over and over. And then you'll want to squish it either on a napkin, a paper towel, but not your clothes. We're using acrylic paints today that can stain your clothes. So while this dries, we're going to go ahead and start on the background. So we're going to let the balls dry because we're going to put our scarf on top. We're gonna paint our background. Um, since we are doing a snowman at, and we see some snowflakes, we're gonna use a dark blue for that. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the pure blue now and I'm just gonna fill at left, right. So I'm gonna go all the way up to my edge and fill that. Notice it's pretty thick paint. It'll cover if you flip your brush as you paint. You guys should have plenty of blue for this. If you wanted to mix in some red, you could make this a purple background. So I could take a little bit of red, mix it in, 
And now I can add in a hue of purple to it. That makes it look a little bit more midnighty. So either color will work just fine. If you go over a little bit on your edge, that is okay. Feel free to pick up your board, pick it up on a dry spot to fill in those extra colors on your edges. All right, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do slowly do a blend of colors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly make our color just a little bit brighter. So we've got this pure blue and purple mix. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a scoop full of white. And I'm gonna mix it in, just a little scoop. I'm not mixing the whole pile. I'm not mixing all of my blue together. So now I have a bright blue. So now I'm gonna paint this bright blue right on top to blend it in. So see how I'm getting a mixture of the two colors? And I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna just do the pure color up top. And so we'll do that for the whole background. We'll just mix it in as we go. Notice I'm flipping my brush as I pull different directions. I'm gonna make this color go all the way up to his shoulder height here. And it's important to do this all in one step. You want the colors to blend, which means you need to do it when they're wet. So painting quickly here is important. Any point, if you want to pause the video while I'm painting faster than you, that is perfectly fine. So again, I'll take another scoop of white. I'll mix it in with my blue. So now I have an even brighter blue. And then I'll do the exact same thing again. So I'll paint it right on top of my edge. So those colors will get pulled in. And then I'm going to go real carefully and outline around my snowman's earmuffs. Now this color is going to get pulled in all the way to this side of the snowman too. And so we're going to basically just keep adding a little bit more white as we go until our cover is up. Another scoop of white, add in it again. Notice I'm not adding more blue, I'm just adding more white to the same spot every time. By just slowly adding white, I get these nice steps in color. So I'm going to fill this in basically until my top is almost all white. And the earmuffs are going to be black, so if you go over your earmuff lines just a little bit, it's okay. No one's going to be hurt by that. And if you're getting lots of these little white spots, an easy way to do it is in out of water. And then go right on top. So all I did was put my brush in and out of the water. I didn't hold it in there, I didn't stir, just up and down. Up and down. And what that does is that dissolves the paint just a little bit so that it's a little bit more liquidy and you can use that to fill in. All right, and I'll do one more big pile of white. And so this top layer will be pretty bright. It's gonna to get to the point where it's just me painting white on top. Like right here. And again, I'm just gonna paint that right and all the way down. Now you're welcome to make it darker and use less white. You're welcome to make it brighter. I would choose a color that you like. You don't necessarily have to use the same color as me, especially for our next part. So our next part will be to go ahead and color in the nose and the skirt. So 
So I'm going to first get some orange. So I'm going to mix a little bit of yellow and a teeny tiny red. So here's my pile of yellow. That's my tiny, tiny pile of red. Because I don't want to go too fast. I just get a little bit at a time. Okay, so now I'm going to fill in my carrot nose. You don't want to color over your nose because if you put your blue on your nose, blue and yellow, or even blue and orange will turn into a color of green. We don't want green carrot noses. That's just not as much fun. Okay, choices. We have scarves next. Scarves can be done lots of different ways. Scarves can be one color, your favorite color. Scarves can be pattern. Or scarves can be polka dotted. So in my example online, it's polka dot. If I wanted to do a pattern one, I'm going to do one that's the same color um, all the way through. And so I'm choosing yellow. And notice I'm doing lights. So I'm turning my brush skinny side to do lots and lots of lines. I'm going to keep those lines the same throughout the whole painting. And then I'll change my color. So I started with yellow. Now I'm going to do a little green. And now I'm going to have some crisscross lines. So this will make it look like it's a plaid scarf. That's the kind of scarf my dad has. Again, you can fill it in one color too. I'm going to get a little bit of blue. Do the same thing, but in some different spots, so my lines won't always be in the same spots. See, so now I've got a plaid scarf. So I could have made the shocker colors, yellow and black. I could make it Emporia State. I could do K-State purple or KU red and blue. There are any number of ways you could do it. You could do it in stripes. You could do it in polka dots. You do you. You color it the way you want to do it. But always save black for last. Black is your last paint color because once you do black, it's really hard to cover that if you make a mistake. So black is your last color. You always use that one last. I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more to my scarf. Since I'm doing the pattern, I would like a light blue. So I'm going to grab just a little bit of my blue sky and I'm going to just trim this. Throw in a couple more strokes of blue. To really amp up this inside section right here. Okay. I have my plaid scarf. Next thing next. Oh, I'm going to do my snowflakes. Now, there's two ways you can do snowflakes. And you could also represent these as stars. So if I am wanting to do like a Christmas star... I could just go right here above his nose like he's looking up at a Christmas star. I could just do like a cross. And I put X on it like that. That could be shiny like the Christmas star, like Star of David. Like that. I could also go in and I could add some lines to it. And then it would become... Snowflake. Now all snowflakes are different. No two snowflakes are the same, so there's no wrong way of doing these. If you want to go easy, the easiest way would be back of your brush. Just dip it in your paint like that, get some light on there, and then just go to town. Dot, 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 dot. The harder you push, the bigger the dot. So you could choose to put one really big star on it. You could choose these to be little stars. You put these as snowflakes. It's you do it the way you want to do it. One thing you don't want to do is do not do them all the exact same size. So change how much pressure you put on it. 
and also turn the angle of your brush. So see, and you don't want them in a line. So I'm one of the best ways to do it, honestly, is put a bunch of paint on your brush and don't look and just go dot 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 dot. All random, all fun. All right. Now that that is done, my snowman should be dry enough to switch to black paint. with black paint. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna color in his earmuffs. So this is a half circle right here. Both sides of the carrot nose. And then I'll do the exact same thing I did earlier. And I'll use the back end of my brush to do the buttons. So one, two, he's getting some big buttons today. Two, three. Notice if I want it big, I just do a circle with my paintbrush. Now for his face, I can do the same thing. I'm gonna do one, Two, three, four. So there you go. One snowman looking up at the sky. If these don't turn out the perfect, the exact way you want it, you are welcome to go back with a marker and outline. You can also go back with your paintbrush and fill in just a little bit more. But remember, all paintings are different. All paintings are unique. Nothing's ever perfect or the same. I could paint this snowman, and every single time, he would be different. So I'm just putting a little bit of an edge on this part here. And on his scar to make that pop. Okay, hope you guys had fun. Thank you.